Hi guys, thank you all so very much for coming. Uh, we're really looking forward to joining Janine with her book launch. It is certainly most anticipated for this evening. The book title is, of course, Good Girls Do Sell, with the modern women's guide to authentic selling. I am Mindy Renner and I will be your MC for this evening. And I would firstly like to acknowledge Councillor Cherie Daly for coming along tonight. Thank you so much. I know your time is precious. And we really appreciate you coming along and supporting people in your area. So thank you. <laughs> uh, we also have sincere apologies from Tanya Betts. And um, we'll be talking about her a bit later on. Thank you, Janine. Okay, uh, just quickly, we are doing a Facebook live stream today, which is really exciting. So uh, we haven't seen many of those. So hi, guys. Uh, we'll be publishing that. That is live on my Facebook page, on, on Smart Tech's page. So Janine will get a copy of this later on. So that's a little bit fun and new for technology, which we love. Um, okay, so hopefully you've all taken a moment to have a drink and some food. There are more drinks available at the bar through the night, so please make yourself welcome to that. And the bathrooms are just down the corridor, straight ahead, and they're on the left. Okay, so I'm hoping that some of you may have purchased a book already. Um, and obviously we are selling raffle tickets as well today, so hopefully you've got some tickets in the drawer as well. Uh, all our prizes tonight have been generously donated and all proceeds will be going to the Life 2 project, which Jane will be telling us about later on this evening. So thank you. Okay, so the reason we're here. We're here to congratulate Janine. We are all very, very excited for your new book uh, and I couldn't be more proud to see that you've come this far uh, and to stand up here tonight and share with you my favourite snippets and hopefully we might even get some other people's favourite snippets along the way of what they've read so far in the book. Uh, I personally love the work that Janine does uh, in her coaching services. She helps entrepreneurial women with speaking confidently in public, Exhibit A, uh, <laughs> learning authentic sales techniques and mastering professional presenting. But I have to say, it's not just her content within her workshops that's contagious and enjoyable. It's her passion. It's her doing what she loves and being able to help increase the value in women, for women to help themselves, to build their confidence. And Janine has this way to enhance the ability to help them promote themselves. And that's what's key in business these days. So what qualifies me to be here tonight, to be your MC? Uh, firstly, Janine and I are very good friends. We kind of have a mother-daughter relationship. Um, so I don't know that I've been the naughty child yet, but we'll see how that goes. Oh, I've got one of those. You've got one? Okay, tick. All right, that's good. <laughs> Present company excluded. Very good. Okay, so I've heard her speak on many occasions, and of course I have attended two of her courses. So hopefully that qualifies me to be here today. Without having done those, I very much doubt that I would be standing in front of you and as a successful business owner. I owe many thanks to her for all the assistance she has given me along the way, so thank you. It has gotten to the point now when I ask Janine a question and I think, you know what, I need an audio recorder because the stuff that comes out of her mouth is gold. And it's especially when asking something about your pitch or something to target a specific demographic, it flows. And it is the stuff that you have to write down quickly because it's gone. And you say, what was that? No idea. It was perfect the first time. Absolutely perfect the first time and then it's gone. So get that recorder out if you have the moment <laughs> and uh, take notes. All right, so I'm lucky enough to be one of a handful of women that Janine uh, with Janine in a mastermind group. I think I can speak for all of us when I say the value that Janine brings uh, to the table is massive and we really appreciate her help and guidance, so thank you. Um, and we will be hearing from a couple of other advocates this evening, one of which is Jane Leach, who I will now introduce to you. Jane is the founder of the Live 2 Project, facilitator, author and speaker. She's a co-author of The Inspirational Bible, she is a resident expert in regards to interviews and discussions on Soul TV, which is an internet thing. Yeah? 
Yeah. It's very technical. <laughs> it's not on TV TV. You've got to log in. Okay, Jane also works with women to help release deep negative emotional and destructive beliefs, destructive beliefs, especially following experiences with domestic violence. So please welcome Jane. Thank you, Mindy. Thank you very much. And thank you, Janine, for inviting me to come along and be a part of this tonight. It's a real honour to be um, a part of Janine's journey with the, the book launch and um, I've been working with Janine on and off for a couple of years now and I know the talent that she has and, and what she has to share with people. Um, I've been asked to come along to talk a little bit tonight about um, valuing self and valuing self in, in, in terms of the challenges that we face in life every day. So um, I've had a few of those in my life and it hasn't been until relatively recently that um, I've learned to value myself and I've learned to value what I have to offer this world uh, in terms of my experiences and my knowledge. And I think that's quite um, common amongst women. We have a wealth of knowledge and a wealth of experience and um, lots of things to offer the world, but we very much minimise ourselves in, in terms of... of our everyday experiences and, and knowledge and the knowledge of our ancestors that have been handed down to us that we really do take for granted quite often. Um, I'll share a little bit of a story about a recent part of my journey. Uh, through the training that I've been recently doing in, uh, uh, in developing my own skills and my own expertise in, in, in the work that I do, um, I've, I've done some processing recently and, and work on myself and, and discovered a very much hidden belief that really quite surprised me. And I was taken back through this process to my childhood and it was a memory that I very much had no conscious knowledge of and I think this is quite common for many people. We run our lives based on belief systems that we really are not consciously aware of, which and quite often we wonder why we do things the way we do, why we think the way we think, and why we behave the way we behave. It's often quite a surprise at some, some of the things that we do, you know, day to day. I was taken back through this process to being five years old. And I had this memory come up for me of being in the living room at my home, my family home, and I'm the oldest of, of four girls. And at this particular time in my life, being five years old as I was, um, my mum was in hospital and she was having the fourth baby. And I very much clearly now remember, consciously remember, being sat down, my dad came home, and his words to us were, it's another bloody girl. From that point on, that belief was imprinted on me that girls are worth less than boys. And up until, well, for, for 40 odd years, that was my belief. And I think it's a belief for many women because there is a lot of subconscious programming that goes on, whether it's intentional or not, whether it's you know, malicious or not, whether it's intended to be sexist or um, you know, derogatory in any way, it's what happens and it's what we take on as a belief and that's how we play out our behaviours and we run our lives. So it's only just recently that I've actually decided to really examine my self-worth and my worth as, um, you know, of my value to the world. So um, I think many, many of us wait until we reach a point of trauma or a point of... Um, a point where we can take no more to actually examine our lives and what's going on and what we need to change. But I'd like to challenge all of you here tonight to actually start to ask yourself, start to ask yourself in your unconscious mind or, you know, your, if you're spiritual, your higher self, where do your beliefs come from? What is it that's, that's driving you? And what is it that is stopping you? And what is it that's blocking you? Because chances are, it's a subconscious belief that has been imprinted on you from in the first six to seven years of your life. And 
once you become aware of that, it becomes far easier to start thinking in a different way and challenging those beliefs. So that would be my message for you tonight. Um, five, five years ago, I got to a point where I couldn't take anymore and I decided to make some changes. Well, actually, it was a little bit before that, but I decided that I wanted to make a difference in the world and I didn't quite know how to do that. So I started to put some ideas together and what came out of that was the Life2 project. I went through some experiences with domestic violence in my life, again, imprinted on me from an early age about my self-worth as a woman and me accepting treatment that ordinarily we would expect women not to accept. So um, I went through those experiences, I left that relationship, I began to build myself back up and I started to work out more so, very much what works for me, but more so what doesn't work for many people in terms of what's available in the system right now. So I started to develop ideas and ways of doing things and, and a different approach to offer women something different, but to offer it to them in an affordable way because many of the services that are extraordinarily effective, the, serv the, the types of services that, that I offer and that I've trained in, and the practitioners that I work with are often financially out of reach for women who have been through these situations because what comes along with separation, divorce, leaving that family home is division of assets and quite often just financial devastation. So hence I raise money through this project and offer the services and offer you know, compensation at a, at a high enough level to return, you know, the, um, the and honour those people who have trained, who are, have, you know, given their time and their service and their, their effort and their, and their heart into doing the work that they love too, so they don't have to volunteer their service constantly. So, um, what is the Life2 Project? It's a series of retreats and workshops for women on low incomes who have been through domestic violence. The only um, thing that I do... Um, quite you know, strongly uh, instigate is that they have permanently left that relationship so that they are free to really, truly start their healing process and their healing journey without the risk of going back into a situation that is going to put them back to, to, you know, to the start again. So um, this year I've already run a one-day retreat. I'm about to start a six-week program of workshops and there's a three-day retreat coming up as well, which is fully funded through my fundraising efforts through um, events such as tonight, but also through the inspiring events that many of you have attended, so thank you for that too. Um, yeah, inspiring events is, is one of the main ways that I, I fund this project. So, um, um, I went to a rally yesterday, and I wasn't going to include this tonight because no, I was just really important. Yeah, I was. I, I, I struggled with this since yesterday because I went. I went to a Red Rose rally yesterday in the city, and I, you know, I always try to end. We know wherever I talk ends, I try to end on an inspirational kind of tone or a, you know an up, upbeat kind of message. But yesterday, um, I was quite flawed. Um, I went to the city, as I said, a bunch of ladies had gathered, as they do quite often in the city, and these events are not usually very well attended. There was probably 150 mostly women there yesterday uh, to honour seven women who have been killed in Queensland in the last three weeks. Now, I find those numbers quite astoundingly shocking. I mean, we know the numbers are high, but there was one lady in Browns Plains, there was one lady in Eight Mile Plains, and the rest were spread out in various areas of, of, of Queensland, mostly southeast Queensland. Um, <clears throat> these are the women that, that we need to be helping. Two of the ladies that spoke, their daughters had been murdered. Now, I have a 15-year-old daughter. 
And one of the ladies that spoke, her daughter was 15, who had been murdered by her boyfriend. So that touched me very, very deeply. And it really brought home to me the, re the importance of the work that I do and the, 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 crucial, the crucialness to actually assist women who have been broken by these situations, by these actions, um, and to bring some peace, at least on a small scale, back to their lives. And all it, sometimes I question the work that I do, you know, because it's quite hard sometimes. It's long hours. There's not a great deal of financial return much of the time. I get questioned, why do you do it? Sometimes I question myself, why do I do it? But yesterday, just reaffirmed exactly why it is that I do what I do. So nothing really else comes into the fact, comes into it to challenge the fact that women need help. These women need help. There's not a great deal of it out there. So I want to thank everybody tonight for buying a raffle ticket. I want to thank everybody who's been along to one of my events in the past. I have an event coming up on the 22nd of May. Uh, we've got, I've got some very special speakers. Everyone who's spoken at my events has been a very special speaker. I have Pam Parker, David Laws, um, Eric Bailey, and Maria Brady as my next lineup. So they're very, very accomplished, very respected, very professional speakers, and I'm very excited to be introducing them. So that hasn't been announced yet, so you're the first to know. So I'd love to welcome you all um, to the next event, and I'd like to thank Janine once again, and thank you for listening. Okay, all right. So that is, that is another agenda for this evening, so we are all helping out with that, which is fabulous. Thank you all. Okay, I personally have really enjoyed reading this book. Has anyone else read it yet? Got a couple of hands in the audience. Don has good work done. <laughs> you had to. <laughs> that happens. <laughs> okay, so um, as I said, I I've heard Janine speak on many occasions, but there's something about reading a book, having it all together, that makes it special. Something seems to get through that doesn't always get through in the little snippets of seeing someone over time. So what is it? For me, it was empowerment. It was building self-belief, self-worth, and becoming more confident. Now, to be fair, I might not need that, but it helps. <laughs> so I found myself resting, uh, I found my resting heart rate kind of increased a little bit. I was getting excited. I was putting myself in the shoes of the next me, the me that could perform better, that could perform faster and more efficient. And suddenly, the world was my oyster. Uh, I could feel opportunities opening up in front of me and this is the kind of book that I'm so glad to be here telling you about because that's what it's all about for me. Uh, and if it's, if it's about that for me, being a businesswoman, it must be about so many other businesswomen in the area as well. So um, young ladies entering the workforce, uh, sisters, nieces, people starting new businesses and even supervisors and managers that need to get to the next step and try and communicate with their staff better. It really covers such a broad aspect of any business, sorry, any businesswoman in the workplace. Um, I found it, was a, it really was a good gateway to confident, authentic selling and building in your future. Does anyone have anything that they would like to add for someone that's maybe read the book? Do I have any hands? Come on, volunteers, anybody? I saw a hand in the background. Who was that? Valerie, come on up, please, Val. Thank you for joining us. Hi, Mindy. Hi. Hello, everyone. I've done Janine's courses. She's helped me turn my life around. And it's not just about selling or products or having knowledge about how to make a sale, what a sale is. What I've gotten from it is immense friendship of someone who is very genuinely very caring about all of us. The other thing I find from Janine's courses and definitely the book, what the book puts together for me is that it's about me, working on me, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> to be able to form better relationships with you 
and thereby by building better relationships, maybe some of us can do business together, some of us can become friends together. And both. And both. And both. <laughs> and both. <laughs> there you go. And, and who knows, you know, partnerships, great ideas, but to me it's all about the people. It's the people, it's the people, and that's what Janine goes back to all the time. It's about the resilience, your own resilience. It's about learning about other people. It's learning about you. And the more you work on you, and that's what this book covers, it's all about working on you to be a better business person. But guess what? <laughs> you know what that means, don't you? You get a better life out of it. So really, it's not just about sales, although, yes, it's about sales. My golly gosh, yes. <laughs> Definitely, it's about sales. It's about presenting yourself. It's about speaking. It's about having done with the thoughts about, oh, I can't sell anything, that's awful. <laughs> Rubbish. <laughs> and she handled that in the first course. Thank you very much for that, by the way. <laughs> that one had me, but... <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> my gen genuinely, um, thank you. Thank you very much. And the book is just... It's like a, a handbook guide to go back but to put it all, to stitch it all together in the way that, that you have, it's, it's all there. So anything you just want to go and, oh, yes, oh, yes, where was it? Where was it? There it is. It's there. It's great. It's good. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, Don, in advance. I especially love the section where Janine mentions that she's earned more than her husband in just two years. Sorry, Don. She's quite welcome. <laughs> Fabulous. <laughs> Pardon? I missed that. New motorbike. Totally worth it. <laughs> See, and it goes on. It, the whole family gets to enjoy the spoils. Absolutely. All right. I love to hear that she's a real person. I, I really do love the personal touch in there. She wasn't born with this ability, although there may have been a little bit in there. But... Honestly, she's learnt sometimes the hard way um, and she's developed, she's created new skills and thankfully she put it all together in a book for us. <laughs> so I'm quite glad. So thank you very much. Um, I'd really like the cliff notes. I'm busy. I'm happy to sit down and read the entire book but I love to be able to go back and go, what was that quick note? I've got a client meeting today. I need that little bit of a boost. So you can just go to the end of every chapter and read the cliff notes and go, woohoo, okay, I'm pumped and I'm ready to go. Uh, that's me. Oh, that's me all over. Thank you. Um, for me, I think it's not just about selling. Um, it's about connecting. Um, connecting with the person that you're talking with at the time as your true authentic self because we all know that you know we only buy from people that we know, like and trust. So you have to gain that trust by connecting with someone in the first place. And Janine's a perfect example of this. I've known Janine for about two years. I met her at a networking event, and um, straight away I just felt a connection with her, and you know I felt at ease with her straight away. I trusted her straight away, and I did one of her courses quite soon after that, and you know we've built a relationship over the last couple of years. I love all the little stories in the book, the personal stories. I've heard some of them before about Janine with her aerobics teaching and all that kind of thing. And I can see her in the leotards and the, you know, the, uh, the leg warmers. But um, yeah, there were, some, there were some stories in there that I haven't heard as well. So it's nice to, to hear, you know, the personal side as well. But yeah, it's about, it's about connecting as your authentic self. And, you know, from then you don't really need to sell because people will come to you. Thank you. I love this line in the book. You are the most influential and successful yet cost-effective marketing tool. You. Everybody in this room. It's time. We've got time. And if we use it efficiently and if we put all the, le all the learnings and systems in place, it's pretty effective time management too. So this one really resonates with me because in my case, it is true. Uh, my husband and I have been able to expand our business very quickly to the point of putting on staff, purchasing a car, look out the window, uh, and um, to reduce our taxable income. Uh, and of course, 
we're now very busy uh, creating websites for people. So for me, I've been able to put these steps into action and it has worked. And I'm sure there's plenty of other people in the room that will be able to uh, attest to that as well. Uh, it's largely due to implementing skills learnt with Janine, having confidence in myself. Uh, if I'm confident in myself and in my product, then the selling, thanks, Sarah, you talk my thing, uh, doesn't really feel like sales or work because it is relationships, it's building, it's putting all those things in. And, and you know what? I want to help people and we all want to help people. So how it worked for me is knowing it's not about me. I've got a product, I believe in it, and my product helps people. So I'm just helping people who need businesses so that they can earn more money, which is everyone, uh, and who wouldn't want to help them? So it then just becomes so easy to talk to people about how to help someone. So it's just having that spin on it, and Janine's book really helps showcase that as well. She is, of course, absolutely right. It's not about having a script. That doesn't work. Uh, I put my warning signs on when someone rings up. I see anonymous come up on the phone and my guard's up already. I don't, it could be someone that just has a private number, but my guard's up. So now you've got to break through that barrier before you can even have a conversation with me. Um, and they go straight to the sales pitch and I kind of go politely, yeah, nah. But if you're listening to the steps and you're going through, well, what, what is the actual focus of the phone call? Well, you're not trying to make a sale straight off the bat. You're trying to get a meeting, to get a phone call, to get that next point of call, to get to the person who makes the decisions. So you need to think about what's your next step. And Janine really illustrates this well. Okay, so let's build some relationships. That's a big one. Having a purpose to the phone call is also really, really big. Uh, it's a huge lesson, but once mastered, it's going to serve you very well. So do you think it's time? Should we get her out here? Yeah, yeah. you've heard enough from me. I think it's time we hear from our guest of honour. I'm not sure that she does need an introduction. I have one here, but I think you're all ready and waiting for her. So please welcome... Janine Vospa, author. Thank you. I love that on the end of the description now is author. It's really cool. Jane is going to bring some champagne around. So please lift your glasses if you want a second glass. There are any little glasses. I think you'll be okay driving with that amount, which is really cool. Oh, stand where Mindy's standing. I've got to do that right. Thank you very much for that. <laughs> and there is some more juice as well, so we'll, we'll bring some of that around. The, obviously, the point of this evening is to launch the book. And it has been on sale for a couple of months, but without having something formal that says, hey, I'm out here, this is it, and... It just feels so exciting tonight to be able to do that and to be able to do that amongst a lot of friends and to be able to do that amongst my family and people I haven't met yet as well, which is really, really cool. I've only just met recently. I would particularly like to acknowledge my husband, Don, who Mindy's been drawing attention to over in the back corner. Thank you, Don. And the good son. I can say that because the other one's not here. <laughs> Uh, the son Kian. and my daughter-in-law is Lindsay is here as well nursing and obviously the most gorgeous baby you have to agree you do have to agree who just who just goes to sleep everywhere so she's that's what why she's so so gorgeous thank you right writing this book I was challenged to write 30,000 words in 30 days. I was doing part of the, the key person of influence training, which was a 40-week training program. And part of it is to publish a book. It becomes your really fancy business card. It means that you actually know what you're talking about. And the 30 days was exactly when I was travelling overseas. So I had to write it before I got the review back from the synopsis. We wrote a 2,000-word synopsis and a whole lot of other things about our titles. And, and so I chose to write it before we went. So I wrote the book in 12 days. And I'd get up each morning about 4 o'clock, didn't I, Don? And he's like, uh, what are you doing, crazy? And I wrote the book. I had a lot of training material I could refer to, which was, which was great. I didn't know I could do that. I didn't know that was in me until I was challenged to do it. And, and part of this, I really want to challenge you, thinking about, for you to think about what's in you as well. Is there a book? 
and I know there's been one going on for a while, Ken hasn't there, so maybe that will be come to fruition now. But the story is within you, and the beautiful part of what I enjoyed writing the book was I was able to share my story as well and share a little bit about, about me and also offer stuff. Just, that's a good word, as any other word. Information and things that I know is up here. And I've been in sales for nearly f- over 40 years. Yeah, I started working when I was three. <laughs> and I just love helping people achieve. Love helping people get what they want. And there's been people along the way that have really helped me become the person I am and to have the skills and knowledge I am. And I want to acknowledge one of those people who isn't here this evening, but has supported me along the the way. Uh, One of the greatest mentors I've had for the last 20 years has been the owner of a business called Alpha First Day. Hence why the banner is up here. Wayne Messer is one of those unusual bosses where people just love to go to work. We work our butts off, Gail, don't we? Absolutely work our butts off. But don't we you know that you're appreciated and you know that you're cared for and people stay a long time. And he generously supported the launch this evening with assistance with, you know, so you can enjoy your food and drinks and everything along the way. So I do want to publicly thank Wayne, but more so for the mentorship that he has given me over the last 20 years to be able to put something together like I have with this, this book. Tanya Beths was attending this evening and for those who don't know Tanya, she was recognised in our Logan about two years ago. For those that live in Logan, it's a a magazine that comes out every two months and it it highlights the wonderful people in Logan and what's being done, doesn't it, Cherry? Every month. Every month, is it now? Oh, goodness, I'm... Oh, I have to get reading faster then <laughs> if I'm expecting. I love it. I, I love it because it highlights these wonderful people of Logan. And I made a commitment that each one of my courses, my professional presenting courses, that I invite a female athlete from Logan to attend the course as, a, as an offer. Because I believe that people, that, that female athletes particularly, sometimes aren't able to believe in themselves enough to be able to present their story as well. So I invite them to my courses. And one of the people, I, ca- I, I tore it out of the magazine about two years earlier than that and, and kept it and then invited Tanya. So we become friends along the way and she's an amazing woman. She has represented Australia in the most b- amazing sports. She is uh, just competed in the Australian National Beach Volleyball Championships Hand, beach handball championships. I wrote down a list of things that she does. She's she's a cheerleading champion as well. That was the fifth one. She has competed in weightlifting, Olympic weightlifting, and she bobsleds. <laughs> right? Really? She's 27 years old, and she's an amazing athlete. She has an autoimmune disease. She was rushed, rushed to surgery this afternoon. So she isn't able to be here, and we really, I really do wish her the best with all the struggles. But she's one of those... The reason I wanted her to speak, not just because she's quite amazing and done all that, but because of the follow-on from what the, why I chose to support the Life2 project, and with the same with Tanya as well, is that we women... I know there's a few guys here, and you, you support your women as well, I know. But, but women often lack that that real commitment to believe in themselves. You know, there's something that's in the back of our minds often going, why would somebody want to buy from me? Why would somebody want to believe in me? Why would I value myself enough? Why aren't I as good as the guys? It's there. We all do it. And to be able to believe in yourself, whether it's to remove yourself from a relationship that is damaging whether it's to commit to being the, the best in your field as an, as an athlete, even though you're struggling with disease and illness, or whether it's just in business and sales in life, as, as we've written in the book. That's what the, the theme of the evening is. It's, it's wonderful to sell books. It's fantastic to have everybody here. But to have that belief in ourselves, ladies, that we are of value We can do what we want to do. We have the skill 
and the knowledge we have, own it and believe in it because other people are, are out there going, I want to know what you can do. I want, to, I want, I want you, what you've got. And that's what this evening's about, hence why we've, you know, the whole support of this whole value of women along the way. I haven't got any notes other than Tanya's stuff. I, I, I just want to read a statement of Tanya's Facebook site that really impressed me. It says, we don't grow when things are easy, we grow when we are faced with challenges. And I think that we as women recognise those challenges and we probably have a lot more growth in us than we've, we've realised that we, we have done. I want to thank a couple of people who particularly just worked their butts off this evening and did a did an amazing job. First of all, to my friend Minty. Thank you. Thank you very much for the whole live streaming. Has everyone hashtagged as they were instructed and done all the stuff? And to Sonia, thank you very much for your help this evening. And I think that's it, but I'm going to hand it back to Mindy because she'll finish off this yeah. evening. Thank you, everyone, for your attendance. Appreciate it and support. Thank you. And I'll <laughs> Lovely. Thank you for the flowers. All right, so thank you all very much for attending. I know it's been a long night standing on your feet, so I'll make this nice and quick. Um, obviously, Janine's very grateful that we're all here to support her, and we do all love her very much, so thank you. Books are for sale. They are $25 this evening. Uh, cash only, I'm thinking. Yes. yes, cash only. But, of course, they are available on her website uh, for $28.95 plus postage, which is uh, www.speechperfect.com.au. Um, and what else have I got? Oh, of course, they're going to make really good gifts. So any women in your lives that uh, need to progress and take, take a step further, a bit of self-development. Or really smart men who sell to women and want well to know done. how they think. Genius. Genius. All right. Cool. So thank you all so very much for, for coming and please let's put our hands together for Janine.